Hey, good morning everyone. It's Aaron Laurie Miller with Plan Free. We've decided after almost five months of living on the beach that we're gonna have ourselves a nice refreshing mountain getaway this weekend. We tried researching how to get from Puerto Escondido to San Jose del Pacifico online and the information was kind of spotty. So we're gonna take you along with us in this video and show you how to get there. We're gonna be traveling today by uh, local public transit. So it's gonna be a combination of collectivos and local buses. Should be fun. All right, the first phase of our adventure today is going to be walking from our Airbnb uh, down to the main highway, the Costera. Uh, and we'll be arriving near Zicatella Market and trying to grab a colectivo down to Pachutla from there. So we're expecting the colectivo from Puerto Escondido, Costera area, the highway to Pachutla to be 10 pesos each. We shall see. Okay, so we're approaching the uh, highway here, the Costera, and uh, Lori just asked this local lady behind us where to wait for the bus, and she mentioned on the other side of this highway. So we're gonna travel across and uh, see what happens. Says they will come here? Yeah. yeah. It said Coco, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, no, it was good to ask. It was a smart move. That says Pachula. Oh. I'm going to confirm the price of it. Okay. Yes. 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 What I affectionately refer to as the Ferrari bus. And we've learned that our journey will be somewhere between 1 and 1.5 hours to Pachula. So enjoy the ride. I think it was about uh, 10 after 10 when we boarded the bus. shows you the bus we just came from Puerto Escondido to Chulan and I guess it was what a little over an hour it was a little over an hour. almost an hour and a half and uh, we paid how much 60 pesos each so 120 pesos yeah all right we're gonna attempt to catch the next bus here from Pachutla onwards to San Jose del Pacifico so uh, we'll see what happens here word on the kai is that uh, we're gonna walk about 100 meters from where we just showed you we got off the bus uh, and hopefully catch a collectivo up into the mountains from there so we're currently walking back to where we came you were gonna say back to the highway
I guess we made it to the uh, other bus depot, if you can call it that, from uh, from the one you will be looking for to go from Pachula up to San Jose del Pacifico in the mountains. You can see here it's uh, it's just kind of a small area in the wall. It's called Eclipse 70. There's probably other companies that do it too, uh, but uh, they charged us one. 150 pesos each which was a little bit more than we were expecting to pay uh, it's right below bio Dent dentista here um, but that's what everyone's paying and it was on the screen let us know if we paid uh, the going rate or if we overpaid anyways a clip 70 uh, is a small bus company that will take you from Pachula to oh San Jose del Pacifico all right adios We've been transferred to the second bus here. Same idea as the first one. Uh, a little longer ride though. It's going to be, I guess, four or five hours of twisty roads up into the mountains. Uh, so I've taken some anti-nausea pills. I don't know if Lori has as well. Several people are putting their luggage up top. I've got too much electronics with me to do that. So I'm going to keep it with. All right, here's to uh, the next leg of the trip. It cost us 120 pesos to get from Puerto to Pochutla and then from Pochutla to San Jose del Pacifico will be 300 pesos total, so four, a total of 420. In Canadian dollars, that'll be just over 26 Canadian dollars for a one-way trip from Puerto to San Jose del Pacifico. Cool. Was that 20 something dollars each or? Total, total. Total, total. For two people, yes. Right. For two people, just over 26 Canadian dollars. Uh -huh. Awesome. See you guys up there. Listo? Alright, it took us about 20 or 30 minutes to find the uh, transfer bus station. And maybe uh, in between finding it and the next bus leaving. So we're at just past noon here now. And uh, just grabbing some gas and heading up. Is there a movie on this flight? So, friends kind of told us that, hey, you're on a really windy road for over three hours. You might want to consider some anti-nausea pills. We had some in our medication kit, so, so we decided to just bring them along just in case. So if you're married, you understand this. Air here, he's of the mindset where if you have a tool in your tool belt, you're going to use that tool. He's taking two anti-nausea pills. I'm more like, Organic. Let's see how it goes. I have taken them, so we'll give you an update when we arrive. Leaving Pachutla, we headed directly away from the ocean and towards the mountains on increasingly windy roads. As a result, the landscape became more hilly and lush, with increased density of foliage and trees. There were some small towns scattered along the way. with a few rivers and creeks too. As the elevation increased, so did the density of plants, becoming a thick tropical jungle at times. As we neared the summit, it became more and more cloudy and it appeared like rain was a regular occurrence here, compared to the last five months of no rain in Puerto Escondido. Upon reaching the top, the vistas became vast and beautiful. Very near to the summit, the jungle abruptly transformed into forests dominated by pine trees, which was a dramatic surprise to us. The presence of the huge pine trees was evident in the people using wood now for their buildings, cooking, and eventually for heat too. Whereas down on the coast in Puerto Escondido, building material was almost exclusively cement blocks. We were also surprised to see a bustling logging industry here with many trucks loaded to capacity with enormous logs. So here we are now. We've uh, made the second journey on the Ferrari bus. We made it from uh, Pachula to San Jose del Pacifico in uh, just under three hours, I'm guessing. A lot of this, topsy turvy. Feels like it's above 
20 degrees out, and when we left the Tula, it was what, 30, 32? Super hot down there. Yeah. Quite chilly up here. I will have this one soon. Yeah, it's uh, very fresh. And um, we rented a little cabin with a fireplace. So you'll be able to watch that video sometime soon. We'll show you what the uh, next four days of hanging around here looks like. When we get there, we'll take you through our Airbnb. I guess it's a boutique hotel, yeah? Yeah. When we get up to the boutique hotel, we'll take you through uh, our accommodations so you can join us on that. And we'll also show you what the next four days in the mountain town here uh, looks like. A much fresher experience for sure. So we're looking forward to it. It's going to be a fun departure from almost five months straight on the beach. So it should be good. Alright, we're going to try to find our place. It's about uh, 10 minutes out of town. So we're either going to walk up the hill or catch a little taxi cab. See we really want some of that right now. Like all of that. <laughs> or maybe that. See? We recommend you watch this video next.